Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Yesterday was one of the darkest day in the Indian history. We lost one of our iconic legends. So when we think of a leadership or integrity or philanthropy in the business world, only one name stands out. That's Mr. Ratan Tata. So in fact, Sir Mr. Ratan Tata. So he is a visionary leader who transformed the entire Tata group into a global powerhouse. And he touched the millions of life through his charitable initiatives. So there could be a lot of uh, goats in the world, but I would call that he is the greatest of all time. He is the best. So uh, Ratan Tata was born in uh, December 28th in 1937 as an Indian industrialist. So uh, needless to say, he just followed the traits of a typical Capricornian. He was a born leader. And besides that, he was a philanthropist as well. And uh, he is the former chairman of the Tata Sense. So under his leadership, the entire Tata group turned into a global powerhouse. So, um, but his impact is like always uh, beyond the entire world and it is like, it is uh, going up into the entire business world too. So um, being born in Mumbai, Ratan Tata was the greatest grandson of uh, Jamshed Ji Tata, who is the founder of the Tata groups. And his parents were uh, Naval Tata and Sonu Tata. So they were separated when he was young. So uh, Ratan was uh, raised by his grandmother, so uh, Nawaj Bhai Tata. And after that, he had his education from Cornell University, where he did his uh, degree in architectural and structural engineering. So that was his uh, core um, education. Later then, he uh, had his uh, management program, where uh, he did uh, his uh, MBA studies from Harvard Business School back in 1975. So he is like a really a um, very good laureate in technical things and he had this urge inside him to make India really big. So rather than a businessman, I would call him as an industrialist. He brought the uh, industrial revolution in India. So he joined up uh, the Tata group in 1962 and he started up his uh, work in the Tata steel plant in Jamshedpur. And uh, later in 1991, he took up uh, the Tata Sons uh, um, role and he took over uh, the chairman post from JRD Tata. So under his leadership, the entire Tata group uh, reached up into greater heights. There could be a lot of trolls online where we could see when he was mocked up by uh, previous companies or car manufacturers where uh, he was told that Indians can't build up cars. And um, so to prove that wrong, he built up his uh, brand Tata Motors and then he had an acquisition of this great brand Jaguar, which is Land Rover in 2008. This British company made a big uh, significant milestone in his uh, career. And uh, besides that, uh, Tata makes one of the best uh, tea in the world and they acquired at uh, Tetley in 2000 and they become the second largest tea company in the world. And besides that, uh, in the UK, we had a uh, Chorus Steel and uh, Chorus Steel was taken over by um, Tata Steel and uh, this became, uh, this paved way for Tata to become the global player. And uh, in his uh, 20 years of career in Tata, 1991 to 2011, he made sure that this company turns into a global conglomerate. You could also uh, seen across a lot of forwards where you would be able to see a big spearheading group of Tata companies. You could be able to see that coming up on the screen here. And uh, this uh, was one of his greatest achievement. He transformed the entire Tata groups. And one of his greatest inventions was your Tata Nano, where he made uh, transportation affordable for the every Indian families. And uh, not only building up the nation, he made the company grow as well. From a $5.6 billion company in 1991, he made the company to over $100 billion in 2011. Besides this, he has made a greater contribution towards the uh, nation's growth. And uh, not only in making up the cheapest car, he also made up uh, uh, affordability for everyone in India. So uh, the Nano was followed by your uh, Indica. So, uh, in fact, you could see that showing up in his timeline where he posted up flaunting that uh, 25 years of Tata Indica. So, you could see that shown up here in the screen here. So, that is one of the greatest things or the major outcomes in the Indian auto industry. And uh, not only in auto, he has uh, stepped his foot into uh, the IT industry too. So, TCS, all of us would know the Tata Consultancy Services was the biggest company in India. So, that is the biggest uh, company in the Indian uh, IT sector. And uh, in fact, they are one of the largest IT companies in the world too. 
And uh, besides that, uh, the uh, global expansion of that, uh, the company has uh, flourished under his leadership over 50 times. And uh, not only in technical things or in the uh, societal uh, uh, awareness, he has also made up a great towards uh, the nation's impact or in the social impact because Mr. Tata is always known for his philanthropy and uh, he has made a lot of contributions towards the charity and social cause. And uh, there are a lot of investments where he has made into healthcare, education, rural development and other fine art kind of things. So he has uh, donated towards the uh, water scarcity issues or in cancer research or in drug creations or in uh, rural health initiatives. He has pledged over 200 million towards the Tata Institute, which is into your genetics and societal things. And he has uh, donated even over 660 million dollars towards the Tata Medical Center, which he has set up in Kolkata. So it's just not this. From his initial days, he's got the flair inside him to build something for the society, which could be uh, something uh, helpful towards the society. So as all of us know, he is an ardent lover of dogs. He used to have uh, two dogs. Um, and uh, one such incident where he happened to see the uh, CEO of the company Motopause where uh, uh, Shantanu Naidu just became his uh, personal assistant after seeing his uh, ideas of uh, how he could save up uh, stray dogs on the roads uh, which could avoid uh, the accidents or the roads or which getting killed on the traffic accidents. So just adding up a small collar around the neck of the dog which could uh, give up uh, automatic illumination or in the lights so or the reflections that could be adding up towards. So he set up this whole company just for this cause and such a kind of a, a dog lover he is. It's If it is something which is uh, breathing, he definitely has an inclination towards that. He will always try to support that, be it a plant, be it a cell or be it whatever it is. Such a soft hearted personality is no more with us. And uh, though he is not with us, his legacy will always be standing with us because he is one of the biggest uh, award winning and achievement provider in India. So he has got the Padma Vibhushan award in 2008 from the government of India. Then followed by that uh, earlier he got the Padma Bhushan awards in 2000. So these two are the uh, two highest civilian honors and besides that would be the Bharat Ratna. I'm sure that the Indian government will definitely be giving that as well to him. And he's got the peace award on the 2010 for his uh, greater uh, value towards business practices and uh, besides that from the Great Britain, the Britain, British Empire gave him the Honorary Knight Grand Cross Award in 2014 and he's got the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award from the Rockefeller Foundation in 2012 and in fact Ernst & Young uh, gave him the Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2013. It's a Lifetime Achievement Award which he got in uh, 2013 and these are just some of his collections. And uh, all these seems to be like really rosy in his career, but his personal life was like more of um, uh, lived with solitude because uh, Mr. Ra Mr. Ratan Tata, he never married and he always led a very private and humble life. And uh, he is not flaunting like your other business leaders in the industry. When he studied at Cornell University, he had this passion towards car and flying. He was an ardent lover of uh, flights and he in fact got his uh, pilot's license too and uh, he definitely continues to be uh, an inspirer to uh, all the young entrepreneurs in the media and uh, you will be able to uh, learn a lot of leadership skills from him and values and integrity towards the society how you have to behave towards the society even though you are in the greater heights uh, and uh, he always have this uh, mentality that he in fact there are a lot of uh, photographs you could have seen coming up where he sits on the floor the shop floor with the people there the people who work under him and he used to like sit with them and like try getting up into the um, machinery work floor and like put his hands into this and he is such a kind of a person and we all should learn from him And even after stepping down from the chairman role in 2012, he became the guiding figure of uh, Tata Group and he became the role model for all the aspiring leaders under his leadership and uh, for which he was given as the emeritus uh, role in the company. So the entire emeritus role which he got was like a total achievement of him and not only in this 20 years of his span in the company, but of his entire uh, career span or his lifespan. How, uh, of a business acumen he was and how much social responsibility he had towards the uh, positive change towards the uh, society. So his legacy will definitely extend uh, beyond the uh, balance sheets because like we see the companies all are like million dollar companies 
and he definitely has this uh, thing touching towards the life of many people because of his philanthropy efforts and his visionary leadership. I definitely admire this gentleman and he's always been a role model of to me. And um, if he has been one to you, do leave your comments in this video and do share this video so that like this gets transferred to all the people around us. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you up in the next one.